The conflict in West Asia is intensifying even more after Iran launched a series of missiles on Israel. This escalation not only threatens regional stability, but could have serious consequences for countries far beyond the Middle East, including India. At the heart of this disruption is the Red Sea, a crucial trade route that India heavily relies on. It connects Indian exporters with Europe, the US, Africa, and West Asia, regions that accounted for over $400 billion in trade in 2023 alone. But with ongoing attacks by Houthi rebels who are closely allied with Iran-backed Hezbollah, this crucial route could become inaccessible for an extended period. The immediate impact is that ships are now being forced to take longer routes around the Horn of Africa, bypassing the Suez Canal, which has pushed up freight costs by approximately 20%. This is squeezing profit margins, especially for industries exporting low-cost products such as textiles and engineering goods. In August, India's petroleum products exports reduced significantly to 5.95 billion, down from 9.54 billion the previous year, recording a 38% decline. India had been betting on the newly announced India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor, a strategic initiative aimed at reducing dependency on the Red Sea by creating faster alternative routes. और यूरोप के बीच इकोनॉमिक इंटीग्रेशन का प्रभावी माध्यम होगा बट द वाइडनिंग कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन द रीजन कुड नाउ पुट दिस एंबिशियस प्लान इन जेपर्डी बट इट इज नॉट ऑल ग्लूम एंड डूम मेजर रीजनल प्लेयर्स लाइक सऊदी अरेबिया एंड द यूएई हैव सो फार रिमेन न्यूट्रल अलाउइंग इंडिया टू मेंटेन स्टेबल ट्रेड रिलेशंस विद द गल्फ कोऑपरेशन काउंसिल कंट्रीज There is nearly an 18% growth in trade with these countries within the first half of 2024. Meanwhile, the global shipping industry is witnessing a surge in profits with companies like Maersk raising profit forecasts due to the crisis. But for Indian businesses, the high shipping costs are a burden, prompting renewed calls for the development of an Indian shipping line to reduce dependence on foreign operators. The risking geopolitical tensions have sparked a cautious response from policymakers and investors alike. On October 3rd, the Indian stock market took a hit with the Sensex plunging over 1800 points and Nifty dropping 565 points. Gold prices surged to near record highs with 24 karat gold now at 78240 rupees per 10 grams. On the other hand, global Brent crude prices rose above $75 per barrel. Heightening concerns for India, the world's second largest crude oil importer. India's trade with Middle Eastern countries has also taken a hit, with exports to Israel plummeting by 63.5 percent. This is a crucial moment for India's economy, as the region's instability continues to disrupt global trade routes. With Vidya Makeria, Samia Afsar for NDTV World.